All right, guys, Michael Letchworth here again to give you a tour of the Sam Jones Barbecue in Raleigh, North Carolina. We are located on the corner of West Illinois Street, just outside of downtown, a block up from the convention center and Red Hat Amphitheater. Same menu as our Winterville store, a little bit different layout. Come on, let's check it out. All right, guys, so the business model here is fast casual. So you'll come in the front door, come right here to the counter and place your order. Uh, have a seat, we'll give you a number, then we'll bring your food right out to you. The menu here is the exact same menus that we have at our Winterville store. Our core menu item is our chopped barbecue, but we do have brisket on Mondays and Tuesdays. Every day we have ribs, turkey, chicken, chicken wings. Uh, if you're into salads, we got those. You can get a cheeseburger and fried chicken tenders if you want. But this is the counter. We also have a really extensive menu of bourbon and a full bar here that we do not have at the Winterville location. So we're up here in what we call the Dewberry Room. Uh, this restaurant used to be a service station and the guy who owned it was Dusty Dewberry. So just to kind of give a little tribute to him, this place was kind of a staple in this community years ago. But we are upstairs and we're preparing tonight. We're having a bourbon tasting, a barbecue dinner with um, kind of a guided bourbon tasting. But this room here is for use for any of our customers that wants to have a party. We do a buffet setup, one, two or three meats at a per head price. Um, we prefer people to, to bring 20 or more to use this space, uh, but it's always, you know, as long as it's open, it's welcome. It really works out good for people who are having little parties, work meetings. We've got a TV they can use, and it holds about 40 to 50 people comfortably. So we're getting geared up for this bourbon event. We're gonna go downstairs and keep cooking some food. This location does have a lot of bar seating. We've got some back bar seating. You come sit at our bar, you can get full service. We'll take care of you right there. You don't have to do the ordering at the counter and go and have a seat. I want to carry you all in the kitchen so you all can see everything behind the scenes. So we got Miss Fermina here. She takes care of her dish pit. This is where everything's washed up. This is the chopping block here where all the action happens. Um, we're chopping on this thing all day long. A, a block like this, this is a thinner one. This one will last us, I don't know, six or eight months, and then we'll be rotating it out for a new one. These things get a lot of abuse. But every, everything we do as far as our barbecue is chopped on this block, seasoned up, and then sent out to the line. So this is our meat station. So every piece of meat is coming in, putting in the hot box, Per order, we're coming out, we're portioning it out, and then sending it down our line over here. And so here at this point, you know, the, all the hard work's done at our prep table and it's done in the smokehouse. And we're scooping and serving here, portioning out our barbecue, toasting buns, cold sides. We do have some fried items on the menu. Um, so this is our fryer setup, And uh, we've even got a pretty good cheeseburger you can grab from right here. As we come back into our prep space, one of the cool things about this location that we were able to do that we didn't have the space for in the Winterville location is the prep kind of has their own nook here. Their walk-ins right here with them. Everything's very efficient and functional for their day. Um, got a big batch of barbecue sauce right here. We're making this almost daily. Uh, this is a 20 gallon kettle. So this barbecue sauce is going on our table and this is the base for our baked beans that so many people like. Consistently throughout the day, we're baking muffins, we're baking our cornbread, the mac and cheese, the collars, the baked beans. Everything's coming out of this little area right here. So let's check out the walk-in. So we kind of touched on it, but everything that we have in our restaurant is made from scratch. We're making everything every day for that day or the shift ahead. Um, every morning we're, sitting, we're, we're cutting French fries and blanching those off. We've got mac and cheeses getting panned up every day. The prep staff's just continuously setting themselves up for success. So if it's not ready to go in the oven, we've got the components to pull the dishes together. Um, we've got some beer storage in here. But this cooler here is dedicated to ready to eat and like prepped out food. Our meat is completely separate. So I'll carry y'all over there right now and we'll check out the meat station. All right, so now we are in our meat cooler. 
to have some chicken wings come off. So we're taking these wings, we're rubbing them, we're smoking them, and then they're chilled out and they're held in tur to order. We're then frying them for a few minutes and they come out and so you get some smoke, you got crispy wings are really good. We got pigs here ready to go. Um, we're about to put a couple of these on, ready for tomorrow. Ribs waiting to break out. These are ribs we have seasoned, waiting to go on the pit. Chicken has come out of brine and is now seasoned and turkey breast beside there. So we are just waiting for our next load of meat and we'll go out to the smokehouse. All right, so Lindsay and Ender got this pig up here. All she's doing right now is getting the skin wet. And the only thing we're going to do to this pig is put a nice even coat of iodized salt on it. And that's the only prep we do. We haven't trimmed anything. We haven't injected. We haven't seasoned anything. We're just putting straight salt on the skin of this pig. And that's going to be all that we do to help with the skin crisping up. This pig's going to cook this way for five or six hours. Then we'll flip it. We'll finish it off. We'll pull that heat shield. Uh, but Ender's going to grab some salt. Actually, sorry, Lindsay's grabbing some salt. A nice even sprinkle. And that's prepping a pig going on the grill. So this is one addition and modification we made from Greenville. That Greenville Smokehouse has the firebox chimney in the very middle and in theory that was to be for efficiency so we could easily access the coals in reality it made a really really hot environment that radiates heat throughout the whole smokehouse and just isn't fun to work in in the, in the heat of the summer so what we did here is we've got this this chimney the very end and we've got an access door on the outside so we're not getting hit with all the radiant heat when we're trying to load it um, so this saves a little bit of time and, and effort going inside the building we can load our firebox from here and then keep going. So we load our firebox in here and then we can just keep coming here. And this is the wood pile. It's a little thin right now. All oak, some hickory. Um, if our tree guy takes down a pecan tree, we'll have some pecan in here. But, you know, our goal is to use oak. And the only reason we're using oak is just because it's always been readily available in our area. We don't have a, um, a secret recipe that just calls for that. You know, everything we're doing is just the old school traditional way, doing what we had around the way, you know, Samuel's family did it years ago. And we're just trying to continue to preserve that tradition. Um, as you can see, beyond this wood pile is our parking lot. We do have limited parking within our parking lot, but there's plenty of street parking around. Uh, in the evenings, it's free. It's two hour parking otherwise. We've got a large patio out front and to the side. Um, so we hope you'll come and, and, and see us and get a meal and enjoy it. And you're welcome to take this tour in person. Uh, our guys are always letting people walk through the smokehouse, kitchen, see anything. We have no secrets. We love to show off what we do. And we hope that y'all enjoy it and can appreciate all the work we put into it. Um, we are right here in downtown Raleigh. And uh, thank you for taking the tour with us. And we look forward to seeing you in the business.